Here in this question, it says that two tangents x, y, and p, q are drawn at the ends of the diameter a, b of the circle with center o, so that these two tangents are parallel. So uh, what we need to do is to draw a circle first. Say I have drawn a circle here, and then we have to make the diameter. Let's say this being the diameter of the circle, and then we are going to draw two tangents. Uh, the name of the diameter is given as AB. So that is, this is AB. And uh, two tangents, say XY and uh, PQ are drawn at the ends of these diameters. So I'm going to draw two tangents here. Let's say this being the first tangent. And let's say this being the other one. This is the other tangents drawn. And we, they are named as X y and pq what we need to prove let's say this being the center first we have to prove these two tangents are parallel so what we know here that uh, the radius this being oa being the radius oa being the radius and uh, xy being a tangent as you know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact for the same reason this angle will also be 90 degree now we can write these two angles as 90 degrees. So we can write this angle X A O is equal to 90 degree. And the other angle that is say P B, uh, we have taken Q B, B angle Q B O is also equal to 90 degree. And uh, reason for this will be radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So we'll be writing the reason here, that is radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So I'm writing the reason here. Radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So this would be the reason here. Now, what you can see here that these two angles are equal, right? As these are 90 degrees, so I can write angle XAO is equal to angle QPO, right? If from these two equations, as each is 90 degree, but what are these? They are, can you see that they are uh, alternate interior angles? If you look into the figure, these are alternate interior angle. Therefore, we'll write XY is parallel to PQ and the reason as alternate interior angles. This is alternate interior angles are equal. So the reason for these two lines being parallel.